When you own a boat, the assumption is that you can go sailing anytime you like. In reality, of course, this is simply not the case. There's maintenance. I spend many more hours maintaining, cleaning, upgrading and pimping Vicar than actually sailing her. Add in the forced socialisation with other humans, work and recently the weather. And well, you need to take any opportunity as it comes. And today I found a couple of hours before the next front comes in for a solo day sail. Sails up, I'm heading out of Brixham Harbour. The wind is westerly, coming in over the hills and therefore it's quite gusty and fickle and anything from six to maybe 15 knots. But at least the sea is flat. I have one reef in the main and a full jib. There's no actual plan. I'm just gonna go and play around in Tor Bay for a couple of hours um, and then head back before the front comes in. I'm halfway through the latest boat upgrade project. Have you spotted what it is yet? Well, there's a prize for the first correct response in the comments. If you can hear music, it's not me attempting to be arty, it's my latest boat purchase, Robert's DAB Radio. It's just like the Aeon one that my nan had in 1976. Anyway, Classic of FM is a, a welcome companion today. I never realised just how much I use the opposite seat to brace when sailing.
to be Apogeo Hereva. Oh, I dropped the anchor in position, number six. This time to get Hubbard, four receive. Thank you. And then we have pass for one, six all the time. This is how I drop the sails when I'm on my own. Looking for lots of space, I head up to close hauled with a fairly loose main and a tight jib. Wind is just off the starboard bow and I'm moving slowly and I can now fill the headsail. Time to start the engine, put it in neutral and tick over, and put away the tiller extension, put that bungee loop around the uh, tiller to centre it. The boat goes head to wind without the jib to blow her off, so I correct to get the wind just uh, off to starboard again and the boom over the port side of the cockpit. The main halyards are to starboard, so this lets me see the gaff as I drop. The peak and throat halyards are geared differently, so the trick is here to keep the gaff above 45 degrees until the throat is down, and then drop the peak. I let the sail fall to port. When it's down, I can reach through above the boom and grab a fold of sail, pulling it through and back and then take another fold under this and secure the whole thing with a single sail tie. All this time I'm aware that because the wind is off the starboard bow, the engine is offset to starboard and the tiller is centred, the boat is falling to port. Luckily this is where the harbour entrance is. The VHF reminds me that there is an active DSC Mayday call. Well, it's a long way away and I'm in no position to assist, so I'm happy to cancel it. Now we just need to put the engine in gear and go home. Of all the ways to park a shrimper when you're alone, picking up a mooring is by far the easiest. Always approach going upwind, you want to be going as slow as possible whilst maintaining steerage. When sailing solo, I always have a bow line rigged up from the Samson post through the starboard fair lead and then fed back around the outside of everything and tied to the cleat on top of the coach roof. That way I have a mooring line at hand without leaving the cockpit.
approaching the buoy the engine goes into neutral and we coast onto it to be honest I'd left the dinghy on the mooring so it's a pretty big target then it's just a matter of putting the line through the buoy securing it to the cleat and then turning the engine off I can then go forward and secure the boat properly with a chain and backup lines Have you spotted the halfway finished project yet? Get on those comments. With the dinghy repatriated to the cockpit cleat, I'm now wondering how bad the growth is on the hull. She's been sitting on this mooring for about a month now. Well, I have a GoPro and I have a stick, so let's go and have a look. There is a remarkable amount of fouling over quite a short period of time. This is certainly slowing the boat down a bit and explains why my paddle wheel log has stopped working all of a sudden. I think I need to spend some time cleaning off the hull. Well, once again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.